because we're, we're, we'll go back to focusing on the question of jobs. And uh, so we're going to be looking in week two, three, maybe as early as week one if we can, to put together uh, the, the incentive packages, not that government's creating the job, but what can we do to be, make ourselves more competitive with the, the southeastern states or, uh, uh, in the United States and be competitive, attracting capital, uh, keeping people here in Florida versus relocating those companies someplace else. So you'll see investment packages there. You'll also see what can we do to knock down barriers, the permitting process, allowing developers who have entitlement rights to build something but don't yet have the opportunity the market for it keep those in place so as soon as the market turns they're ready to go and they're not back getting new permits and new entitlements that's important to keep people working you'll also see a real focus on our K through 12 education early in the session and that is our children are now competing not just with uh, uh, our neighboring states they're competing on an international stage and so we must raise our standards to graduate from a, a, a state high school in the future and to be successful in a university or college setting is going to take advanced math, advanced sciences, and it's time we set that standard. We'll have to get there, but we must set the vision for that. And we're also looking to um, continue to recognizing the importance of the professionalism of the teacher in that classroom. What's it take to be in that classroom? How can we compensate success in that classroom? Really, we owe that to the teachers of this state to do that. So those are things you'll see very early in the session. One thing uh, we, we suspect on opening day, unemployment compensation for all small business owners in the state. There's a bill due on April 1, and it's going to be a significant bill because we have used so much of our trust funds uh, to cover unemployment costs over the last year the tab would be rather significant. We're going to suspend that for a period of time. So on the very first day of session, we're going to try to show all, all small business owners in particular, but all business uh, owners in Florida, that we're going to suspend that burden and, uh, and keep those costs low so they're not making a decision between laying someone else off or paying their unemployment compensation tab. And that'll be the very first day of session.